Let's start with me. It's time for Art with Anna. Have you ever wanted to draw a deer? Here we brought you a video on how to do it. I promise. It's going to be easier than you think. This is a very easy sketch to do. This is most useful to learn how to add highlights and shadows. Let's try to be the most flexible and creative we can be with our drawing. We can make it either realistic or not. It depends on what kind of style you draw. This sketch is going to be drawn with an HP pencil, so you can erase at any moment you want. Use your pencil as a guide. Make a rectangle of the size of the deer's body you are drawing. When drawing the neck of the deer, you only need to have two curves. Draw two lines in your canvas to measure where you want the head and the antlers to be. Now let's add some contour to our sketch using a V or 2V pencil. Or actually any other pencil you want to use, just make sure it's a darker one. This chart is our guide, okay? Now we're going to start adding shape to its body. Let's erase the face. I'm gonna miss that face and add shape to the ears. Draw the eyes. You need to remember to have fun while you draw. Otherwise, there's no point on doing this, right? Be creative and add your own personal touch. These lighter areas are going to be those cute patterns deers have. I really love deers, I, I found them beautiful, uh, I was a big fan of Bambi. For me, I am more prone to draw things in a darker style, using a combination of graphite and charcoal. The more time you spend on your drawing, the more details you add and the better it will look. This is my favorite ruler, my pencil. I'm gonna give you a little recommendation. You can print a picture for reference and measure it directly with your pencil to the canvas to keep proportions on point. I will leave the picture of this deer in the description below so you can try this one by yourself. In order to create shadows, we can use blending stump. It's very useful to create the proper shadows and to make detail work on faces. You can find these blending stumps on our website and in our description. And please, please don't be like me. Use cotton to fill the body color. It's way better, trust me. It's just, this is my, let's say it's my drawing sweater. Erase excess to keep the drawing as clean as possible. Now let's add more shadows. With a kneaded eraser, we can add as much highlights as we want in the easiest way possible, since you can shape the kneaded eraser as you want. It is likely... Um, this is my personal thing, my personal believing. I believe eyes are really important. They speak a lot to the person looking to a piece of art. So I always try to add as much detail to the eyes as I can. This sketch took me about 10 minutes to make. I am a big fan of the hatching style. That's why you see me adding a lot of lines.
now it's my turn to have some fun. I love charcoal, so I will be adding this background to my deer that I think that I'm going to name mm, Jennifer. That's all. And this time for reels. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and give me all your love. If you have any questions, drop a comment. Until next time, I am Anna and I invite you to art it up.